Well, even something as secure as Touch ID can't protect a Christmas budget from a crafty little six year old. The phone security system was no match for Ashland Howell, a Pokemon fanatic who spent nearly $300 on Pokemon toys using, listen to this, her mom's thumbprint while she was taking a nap. So, here with us on how they caught them all is six year old Ashland and her mother, Bethany Howell. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Ashlyn, I see they're playing with some Pokemon toys. What did you order from, from your mom's phone? Can you tell her what you ordered? She's a little shy. She's shy all of a sudden, yes. So, Bethany, walk us through what happened, because I think there's so many mothers waking up, listening to the story, thinking, this could happen to me, or maybe it's already happened. When did you realize what she had done? Well, um, interesting story. It had been an extremely busy weekend um, leading up to a Monday evening that um, my husband was working late that evening, and so I decided to get her ready for bed. And um, we sat down on the couch to watch a movie, and I unintentionally fell asleep um, in the first probably five minutes of the movie. And um, probably for about 30, 45 minutes, and during that time, she got on my phone, which she plays on my phone to get on Netflix or YouTube. So um, if I think I woke up at one point and saw her on my phone, didn't think twice about it. And um, apparently she was on Amazon for the first time. That's hilarious. So, so when, you, when you actually saw that things had been ordered on your phone, did you think that it might have been a hack? Yes. Uh, my husband um, actually receives all the emails. We have uh, Amazon Prime. And so he... Um, Mentioned to me that asked me what all I had purchased for her on Amazon, and I told him there wasn't anything I purchased. So um, he, we got on there thinking someone had hacked our account, looked at the address that it was going to, and it was coming to our home address. So at that point, we thought, oh, she had per possibly purchased them by mistake until we talked to her the next morning when I was getting her ready for school and found out that. Um, and that's when she told me, no, Mommy, I was shopping. And I said, oh, really? And she said, oh, but don't worry. They're all going to ship right here to the house. <laughs> Ashlyn, did you know what you were doing? Yes, you did. I see the smile on your face. She knew exactly <laughs> what she was doing. And then, Bethany, you let her keep the toys. Well, we um, were able to return four of the toys, and the other nine, um, we were not, and they were third-party <laughs> sellers with Amazon, and it was all purchases were final. So, um, uh, fortunately, we had an elf on the shelf, and the elf uh -huh. on the shelf told Santa Claus mm -hmm. about what happened, and so Santa intercepted those nine gifts and brought them on Christmas morning. So, <laughs> that elf, what would we do without those elves on the shelf? I know. So, Bethany, how do you think she figured out how to do that? Because at six years old, you're thinking, obviously, she watches everything that you do. Obviously. I, I know she, you know, I've seen her do things on my phone that I didn't know how to do before, <laughs> but um, I had never seen her get on Amazon before. So, it's really, in some ways, it's still a little bit of a mystery. We do have Amazon. Prime and that's programmed into my app, so that's how all the our information, I guess, was populated because of that, as well as have the auto fill on my phone. So, but still, we're still um, one of those. It's kind of a yeah. mystery to say the least. Oh, I love this story and a wake-up call for all parents out there to be a little bit more aware of what's going on. Ashton, you are a smart little six-year-old. I love this story. Thanks for being with us this morning. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you for having us. Good to see you both.